So hey guys what's up welcome to another video and in this video we are going to show you how you can add communicates customizable live chat SDK to your Android apps. Keep in mind all the links we are using in this video are already in the description box below so don't forget to check that out. For this to work you'll need an existing communicate account and a chat bot. If you still don't have one, link to communicate registration is in the description box below. You can register now for a 30 day free trial. And if you want to create your first chatbot, link to that tutorial video is also in the description box below. So now, without wasting any time, let's get it started. So now for the very first step, you need to create a new folder. We have already created this folder and named it Android. The very next step would be to clone the Android SDK in the same folder. For that, you need to open your browser and go to this link. You'll find this GitHub link in the description box below. This link will take you to Communicate's GitHub page and from there, you need to click this Communicate Android Chat SDK link. Now this here is a sample app that implements Communicate Android Chat SDK. Now we need to clone this SDK to that folder which we created in the very beginning. To do that, we need to click this download code icon and then click open with GitHub desktop. Once you click open GitHub desktop, you will see that you have now the option to clone this chat SDK to your device. Now just choose the location of your newly created folder and click open. After that, just click clone and you will see that the cloning process has begun. Just wait for it to complete. Once the cloning process is complete, you can simply minimize the GitHub client window. Now the very next step is to open Android Studio. Wait for it to complete loading. Once it is done loading, click open an existing project and then select the folder where we just cloned the Android SDK. After selecting the cloned SDK, click open. Once the project is done loading, move to the left navigation panel and open this build.gradle file. Make sure that you open the file which has .app extension at the end. Once we are done opening this file, we need the app ID of a communicates live chat. So for the next step, you need to open your web browser and log into your communicates dashboard. Once you are logged into your communicate dashboard, go to settings and go to the install section. From install section, you will be able to see your app ID. Now, all you need to do is click copy and your app ID is now copied to your clipboard. Now go back to Android Studio. Now currently, we are in the build.gradle file. All you need to do is replace your ID with the app ID you just copied from communicate dashboard. After this, you just need to click sync now button. Once you are done with all this, just save your file and run your app. Now the first run might take some time to load, so just wait for it to finish loading. Once it is done loading, you'll see that your app will open and you have successfully integrated live chat SDK with your mobile app. To test your live chat, simply click start new conversation and as you can see, the live chat is working fine. That means you have successfully integrated communicates live chat SDK with your Android app. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope this video was helpful and see you in the next one.